Here we go right here, Mia. Mia is a 33.91, Mia. You can see the Greek, you can see the English, and then the pronunciation key, Mia. And it says a regular feminine of uh, 15, um, 1520, one or first in the sense of a, a certain, to say a certain one, you understand? And it says agree. It says agree right here, agree first one or other. Now, this is all in relationship. This is all in relationship to um, the particular question that Crown Christ asks about First Timothy chapter 3 concerning um, the suggested uh, standards that Guadalupe Paolo suggested to Timothy concerning a bishop. Now, we also have to touch on what is a bishop and get a clear idea of who and what is a bishop. But here's this key, here's this key word right here, um, Mia, as you can see it, Mia, Mia, Mia. So it can mean one right here clearly. It can mean one or first in the idea of a, saying a certain one, a specific one, not a general one. Plus, it says agree, agree first one times other. Right now, there's other forms of media used in as 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 down here, which is which is a whole different idea right there. But media, here's here's, here's the key, here's the key uh, verse and the key phrase. Now. If we first of all ask, well, what is what is a bishop? In other words, what are the standards for a bishop, and what function or what role in the community does a bishop play within um, Orthodox societies? One should understand that a bishop would basically be um, like the father or the spiritual father of the community. In our system or order or Ethiopian tradition, this would be like the so-called um, the patriarch in that sense, like the father of a family, so to speak. That's what an abuna, a title usually ascribed in the spiritual sense, would be like, like a father, like a father, or even like an Abba, you understand, an Abba, or a father. Now, if we look at our Ethiopic tradition, let me see if I could bring this up right here. We have um, um, Abuna um, um, Salama. We have Abuna Salama. We have a picture right here that we want to bring up. Okay, let's uh, take this off right here. We have Abuna Salama right here. This is um, Abuna Salama, right? Abuna Salama. Um, or a drawing of an Abuna, and it's been attributed to be Abuna Salama. It says, Abuna Salama, the Metropolitan of Ethiopia, the Metropolitan of Ethiopia, in his uh, um, regalia, you understand, or the, the Ethiopian Hebrew, Hebraic regalia, and let's zoom out so we can get a nice, a good, uh, a good, a good shot get a tight shot of, of him and of some of the tools, you understand, or the instruments, the instruments or tools. Look at his look at his vestment. We notice his vestment right here, the belt. So this is this is the the you could say official dress, which is now derived from the high priest, the garments of the high priest. So his role would be as a as an abuna or a bishop, a bishop. But then we have to ask the question, and let's not forget to ask the question of what does what does bishop what does bishop mean? Now here in our in our archival uh, some of our archival um, um, some of our archival. Uh, images. This right here is a smaller picture that we have of um, of Abuna Abba Petros, who was martyred 
by the Italians during the fascist invasion of um, Ethiopia, and you can see like the type of priestical hoodie that um, he is wearing, but also similar garments, the garments down to the foot, right? So his role too is as a, a an abuna or a or a bishop. This is a this is another picture of um, Abba Abba Salama or Abuna Salama. Okay, we can. It says insufficient memory, so we can't open that one up right there. But we'll we'll, we'll touch on that as we go forward. Let's try to deal with this Mia. Now, here is the Amharic, uh, we have here is the Amharic um, software, you understand, which has the Amharic on one side, right? And then it has the English on the IOTA software, which is a good software, it's a good start. It has certain areas that need to be um, upgraded and updated, in other words. It has some errors, minor errors, typographical errors in it. But overall, it's a, it, it, it's, a good, it's a good idea, and we hope and pray and would like to work with those who are doing this software, but perhaps for theological reasons, there might be some difference between us and them right now. But it begins off and says right here, it says, this is a true saying, if a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. He desires a good work. Now, Bamarinya, here it says, Andenya, or one, the first, what a Timo Tewos um, source, a Mi'raf source, chapter three, and it says, Manem Episa Poposinetin be felig, be felig, melkamin, melkamin, sera, yemenya, yemilo, kal, yetamene, nau. So the whole sentence would be manam, manam a pisa kaposinetina be felig, melkamina sera, yemenya, yemilo, kala, yetamene, no. So the translation is, 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 is close to and it's accurate with what is presented here, that this is a, a, a true saying or really a faithful, a faithful saying. If a man seek or even Yemenyal would be to covet, if he covet in that sense, um, the, the Episa Kaposinetin. But what is Episa Kaposinetin? Remember, that's the question concerning Bishop. Here it is translated as a bishop. You understand? In other older Bibles, it will be bishop's prick. Bishop's prick, which means that, that shepherd's staff or that staff that the shepherd would carry. Now, remember, we've been talking about the flail, the flail, or the heck, you know, the flail and the, um, the, the, the shepherd's rod and the flail, or the crook and the flail, as it's called. But here's the here's the here's the key verse right here where it says um it says uh in gadi at isa kapos uh in d lihon ye gabawal ye maya nekef ye andit mis bal lekenya rasum ye migeza in the Migabal, Yamisara, in Gada, Tekebai, Lemastamar, Yamibeka. Mastamar, Yamibeka. Now let's uh, um, pull this down right here for, for a moment. And that's the sentence right there, right? That's the second verse. The second verse. Now over here, the second verse says, a bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, apt to teach. Now, let us, let us seek to now understand this right here, because this is, this is the verse where it speaks about one wife, right? One wife. Now, 
Let us go into what is known as, right here we're pointing to this, this is the Kutir uh, Matinya, the Kutir Matinya, which means the verse study, the study of the verse. So now when we click on this red right here, we click on the red, right? And in fact, I think it probably had, uh, let's go back to here. What, what, what does it say when we click here? It says, open English with Greek Dictionary. So we're opening the English with the Greek Dictionary now to study this, which you could just click on this tab right here. And on this tab right here, you see where it has the verse. You understand the chapter and the book. You understand the book and the chapter um, or the epistle. It has the Amharic right here. And then down here is the English. But then when we pull this down, we pull this down and we go down, we have the King James Version with strong numbers right here. Then it says First Timothy, and then we can actually go into word by word which particular word we want to go into. Now, remember it said, it said that this is a version when we was in the um, hard copy dictionary. It basically, it basically said something to the effect of, it said, um, an irregular feminine of 1520. So here we have 1520, when we look at the verse, when we click on this, we click on this, we go over here, and this is the Strong's uh, Hebrew and the Greek Dictionary. Now this shows up, 1520, where it says, Hase, you understand, Hase, or his say, Hase, and it says, here's, 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 here's how it's defined, including the neuter, etc., hen, or hen, hen. And it says a primary numeral, right, one, or a, as to say, in the sense of any. You understand? Abundant. It means man, one, another, only, other. You understand? And then it has other, other references, other references under here. Let's pull this down. So it gives us now other Greek words, Greek words that derive from or that's related to, to this. But the general idea... Here, and it's used many places, many times. Now, the question basically was put to us, could it also mean first wife? You understand? First wife. And to imply that that, um, that man should be um, married and not a single man which is a very, very interesting and relative idea, seeing that nowadays the majority of uh, priests or bishops, you understand, within certain orders are basically unmarried or not married, while here the great apostle is giving a whole different context to it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the 1520. Since it has haste here, Let's go to the 1520. Now, when we go to 1520, we see right here, let's, let's, we're in the 1520. Let's move this out of the shadow. So we have 1520. Ace, or it says hisse, or hike, but really it's heis. Heis, right? Heis, and it says basically the same thing as um, we already found in the Amharic version. It says only wife. We could translate it as should have any wife. It should be the should be the husband of any wife. You understand? In other words, he should not just be like a single man. Remember, he has to bishop and shepherd the community. So if if, if he doesn't have a good idea from his own from his own life experience. How is he going to be able to speak to these sort of issues? Now, we know within Catholicism and, and the Western churches that there's a lot of confusion, right? There's a lot of confusion around that particular issue. You understand? Now, the mia there, the mia that is used there, that you say is used there, it is interesting because we don't have that, the, the, the 33... 50 of that doesn't show up in this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our Greek, the actual Greek uh, New Testament that we have, right? 
we're going to get the Greek New Testament that we have. Um, and we're gonna look. We're gonna look up that and get more into this verse right here, concerning what does it mean? What says a bishop then should be blameless, the husband of one wife, of any wife, of of of, of only a wife, of some wife. You understand? In that sense, he should have a wife. He should be vigilant. He should be sober, of good um, behavior, given to hospitality, and have to teach. These are the qualifications right now for a shepherd, an overseer in that sense. The idea clearly is coming out of the ancients, which it means an overseer. You understand? An overseer for those of the Lord, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos, his sheep. You understand? And we can see here is some of the examples you understand both in 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 in, in um in office such as we have uh abuna petros and then we have um um abuna salama you understand carrying those um those rods or those symbols of the of of of, of the priesthood right here but let's Go a little bit further and get that and, and, and get the Greek New Testament and look at that for a moment, all right? <laughs> 